Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. We're gonna go with good, this one. Hopefully end out that way. If I play it again, I'm going all dark. Seems more like you're being light-headed, if you ask me, but you'll come around, eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So, it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was, hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Ha! Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. That's the person. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. <laughs> Stabby. Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Move towards an enemy to target them with an melee attacks. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. 
I'll be to reload. Now that's a flesh wound. Electroid Molly. Did not want to do that yet. Don't need that right now. Just interact with the toilet. Break things. One hand after the other. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Oh, Evolution has its ways. Remembered very enemy attacks. When you see lightning bolts flash above their head. Mm, nice. You oh, might God. want to fall back. Whoa, why'd you go to him? What are you doing? Cricket. Playing on medium right now, but if it gets too difficult, then I want that. Sure, useful. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Wait, would I get that? No, I don't think I did. Oh, 
That's going to leave a mark. No! Dang it. Like I probably should have played this on standard until I got the hang of the controls. Oh shit. Keep hammering away. Black Sludge? Bad. Some enemies carry a large shield. You need to break the shield with melee attacks. Dodge an attack. Boom. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. The names in this are so weird. Looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Or my swords would. Down we go. Whoa. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Love to get out of here, dude. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Boom, yeah. Oh, 
right in the face. Oh. Let's go. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. Unlock special powers. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. I'm a puzzle. Switch nodes. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark <coughs> on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. I feel like that's what's happening today. So much waste and trash in the ocean. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from pew, behind pew. that door. Pew pew. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Well, that was really quick. Um, the wheel one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Good hit. Ching! Ching! 
I think I got the hang of this fighting. Whoa, dude. Shotgun. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Give me a minute. Every little bit helps. Come back here, wheeled one. The Papa Morfobak. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old. The language kind of reminds me of Avatar. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. Remember what? How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his <coughs> raid in the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Mooma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. The default dialogues are said to advance from <clears throat> one NPC line to the next line automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can change this. Way back in the long ago. I like how you run in this. Elvis. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Mm. 
I don't think she'll care. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Moomer's love. <laughs> He understands uh. why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Are you a mutated potato? The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Potato people is better. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Wonder if there's anything around here. I like this place. It's really pretty. Onward to the potato people. Tiny I am, so cute. So cute. Mm, probably shouldn't jump that. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. It sounds cute. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. But get back here. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Guess I need to go back outside. Mm 
This is a really beautiful game, actually. I didn't think I was going to like it as much, but I think it's going to grow on me. And to think this was made by only 20 people? that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. They keep referencing Muma. Am I some kind of like prince? No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Wherefore, where we... He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. End of days. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re-evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop has almost <laughs> done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy. But he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. <laughs> uh, I really want to ask about Porky Puff. I'm gonna. Pauketo. He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters.
Do wobble. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Before we go, let's see. Level up. We got enough intellect and charisma for a minute. Get a little strong. What a bruiser! So those are what I have. Unstoppable pig. Go to the mutations tab to unlock psi powers, biogenetics, and to upgrade your resistance. Once you have more grid points, you remember to spend them. Mutations. Moth mouth. Hmm. Do I want? Oh, that's something special. So, biogenetics and upgrade are the same. Uh, let's go with the cold. I'm not too concerned about biogenetics at the moment. How did I get dark? How am I balanced? I feel like we might be ending this dark. All right, Let's save real quick. Why is it saying my difficulty is normal? I picked medium. Change equipment.
great. Oh, thank you. If I can take my pants off. I want to know what this thing means next to it. Perfect pansies. <laughs> uh, their commentary in this is hilarious. What? That's dope. It's so cute. Wait, I wasn't done. Looks a lot bigger than I expected. All right. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. That's like the third time they had bio mutant show up on there. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. Let's see. I almost want to go do Porky Puff first, but I might save him for last. off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world oh, that's Porky Puff. He's definitely laughed over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Oh, crap. All right, so I can't swim. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> to see someone made it out alive. Wow, that's sad. 
He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. You've lost everything else. Let's me help you. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. I like those two. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. How'd he get out of there? Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Definitely going with Myriad, since I'm going I'm the light way. The road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Let's see what this... 
side pointers. Oh, you need certain auras. Hmm. That's a neat. We'll go with Blaze. Oh, whoa, I set everything on fire. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. That's nice to know since I can't swim. Potato people are in the caves. Unpopular. their outfit. <laughs> Yay, we got them all. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Tunnel. Thank you. 
That's the Myriad tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Cautions you that the Sifu may be a little impatient today, as bad news has just come in from the front line. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. That's my kind of thinking. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. I wonder if I sided with the other tribe, if I'd actually let the world eaters eat the tree of life. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, <coughs> and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories Motorhead. of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says Surprised sometimes didn't name one him memory Turbanhead. can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. My Muma. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land. And there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner, even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war.
can't both get them at some morbid? They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. I like his outfit. Gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war, a war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They passed the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. <laughs> 